Greetings everyone. This is a quick shout out to iShine. I received your messages and the videos that you shared with me for review. Thank you so much. Now, the story as it unfolds about the seem like a taxi operator from Port and Cottage. Um, the information is so sketchy that I can't get into detail about it. But I still decided to talk about it in the sense that when I see what was happening on that scene, I find it to be very disturbing. Here we have uh, a person who has either succumbed to their injury or, you know, passed out from it. And obviously there was an assailant and this gentleman is now either deceased or has sustained some serious injuries at least. But what is more disturbing, and I find that I'm using that word to describe my people, to describe the behavior of the people in Jamaica, disturbing is the word. These individuals are taking videotape of this person. People standing around their vehicle, speaking nonchalantly, as if they're talking about some rodent on the street. A human being that has a family, I'm sure, have relatives at least who will care about him. And these guys are standing there and having regular conversation, no urgency, no panic, no nothing. These folks are so accustomed to seeing violence and to see death around them to the point where they can meet in a circle, huddle around this car and talk so calm and nicely about whatever it is that they're there discussing. Disturbing to the max. Now, I don't know what happened to this gentleman. And, you know, I can just only send out, you know, condolences if he's passed to his family. Or if he isn't and he's still alive, a speedy recovery. The thing is out of this world. That's the new Jamaica that's the new Jamaica. Oh my goodness. I am so saddened to see that. Where is our compassion? Where is our love? Where is our love for ourselves and each other? I have no idea what happened. And as the day progresses, the story will unfold and we'll hear more on it. But I just really wanted to talk about it, Aishan, because you asked me to. Um, and I haven't seen any breaking news. I haven't, you know, and I usually when these things are happening, I like to give it a little time to assess what's really going on, to hear the details, hear what the officers have to say, and hear what other, you know, eyewitnesses or whatever is saying. It is breaking. And so um, uh, perhaps it hasn't even hit the media yet. Um, but thanks once again, Aishan. But what is more disturbing for me is not just what happened to this man, is how the people respond, how the people just stand there and act as if it's nothing. Wow. Anyway, people, hope you have a blessed day. Stay safe wherever you are. If you are in Jamaica, please, you know, um, just pray and be smart. Be vigilant when you head out in them streets. Because the, the, those are the mean streets these days. And um, people don't value life. They don't care about each other anymore. It is very clear. And the thing is, it's only going to get worse. Because as I've said, you know, this is like those Hunger Games. And we're heading to a new period where folks are going to have some to make some decisions about their own personal life. And for the most part, from what I see, the community that we used to have... You know, it's no more community. The love that we used to have, there's no more love. And it's been like this for a long time, to be honest, to be honest with you. You know, so take care of yourself. Stay safe. In the meantime, in between time, stay blessed.